ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maria Desmondi, and I am the author of The Jelly Donut Difference. This book was illustrated by P.S. Brooks. Today I'm going to read the story to you. Before you begin reading The Jelly Donut Difference, parents, caregivers, and teachers, take a look at the questions on this copyright page to ask children before, during, and after reading. There's also some suggestions for additional learning. The sun was barely up on this chilly winter morning when Dexter ran down the stairs, following the mouth-watering smell of his mom's famous bacon and cheese bread pudding. Not so fast, Dexter's twin sister Leah yelled. She yanked his shirt, getting ahead of him in time to nab the first plate of their Saturday breakfast. Three weeks in a row, Dex, Leah grinned as she took the first bite of bacon cheesy deliciousness. Why is it such a big deal to have the first bite of the pudding, Dex demanded. Mama and Papa were busy cooking for family and friends who would be coming to dinner that night. Leah, it's my turn to mix the stuffing, Dexter said, as he pulled the spoon right out of her hands. It was then Papa realized they had run out of eggs. Well, since you were the first to eat breakfast, Leah, you should go get the eggs from Miss Marvis, Dex told her. Instead, Papa sent both kids to get the eggs. Miss Marvis answered the door and invited the twins inside. Right away, Dexter noticed a difference between their house and hers. It seemed too quiet. There were no good smells or messy countertops, just a bowl of cereal on the kitchen table. Dex wondered, where is Miss Marvis's family? They never seem to come around. On the way home with the eggs, Dex turned to Leah. Miss Marvis's house seems so lonely. Our house is always full of people, Leah observed. So let's ask Mama and Papa to invite her over to dinner tonight, Dex suggested. Good idea, Leah agreed. Miss Marvis sat between Dex and Leah at the large dining table, among other guests. She told stories of living in Poland with her children many years ago. She shared a Polish tradition of making and eating jelly donuts filled with sweet and savory fillings called punchki, pronounced punchki. Dexter's eyes lit up. Miss Marvis told them, Traditionally, we made punchki during the winter months to use up all the lard, sugar, eggs, and fruit in the house before fasting for Lent. At the meal's end, Miss Marvis thanked them all. What a special treat to be here with you tonight. I love remembering when my children were young and the traditions we shared this time of year, Miss Marvis said as she brushed away a tear. Now they're grown and gone. Why, I haven't made those donuts in years. The next morning, the twins played in the snow. When they came in to warm up, Leah grabbed the last packet of hot cocoa mix right out of Dexter's hands. Dex was about to yank back the cocoa mix when Papa interrupted. I have a recipe here for punchkis, those jelly donuts Miss Marvis mentioned. Do you want to make them with me? Soon the kitchen was filled with gooey blueberry filling, melted butter, whipping cream, and other sticky ingredients. Leah, it's your turn to stir, Dex said, trying not to lick sugar off his fingers as he handed his sister the spatula. When they were done, the twins dropped off a bag on Miss Marvis's porch. She'll love them. I just know it, said Dex. He and Leah trudged back home through the snow. At dinner that night, the twins devoured jelly donuts for dessert. The next morning, Dexter looked out the window. Leah was building a snowman. He ran out to join her. Leah stepped in front of her snowman. Stop, Dex. Don't knock it down. No, no, no. I wasn't going to, Dex replied. I have an idea. Let's go build a snow family in Miss Marvis's yard. She'll love all the company. After school on Monday, the twins found a letter from Miss Marvis. Dex picked it up and read it aloud. Dear Dexter and Leah, the punchki you made for me were wonderful. Even better was the lovely dinner you invited me to and the snow family you built for me. Your acts of kindness are really appreciated. You found a great way to spend your time, and it made my weekend extra special. Who would have thought jelly donuts would make such a difference? Warm wishes, Miss Marvis. Before Leah could grab the letter from him, Dex handed it to her. I'm thankful we have each other and our family, he said. It's all good to work together. Leah grinned, and I'm thankful we learned how to make such great jelly donuts. The twins giggled until their bellies hurt, thinking about the new treats and tradition they hoped to complete. 
And on this page, everyone, there are tips to help your family share kindness with the world. And this was from one of my contributors. She is the founder and president of Pennies of Time, um, teaching kids to serve. So go ahead and take a look at this. What are different ways that you can share kindness with the world? Because we all know kindness makes a difference. Also, I wanted to tell you on the illustrator and author biography page, that is a picture of me when I was maybe four or five, I used to be a Polish dancer. So part of my heritage is being Polish, and so this that is what inspired me to write about Punchki Donuts. Have a great day, everyone, and remember, you can make a difference.